I know guys, um, hello. <laughs> I know it's been a long time since I did a vlog, but today we're making a vlog out of the dark. Um, so right now we're here in Texas still, and unfortunately um, they did this outage where um, they're not even really that prepared for this kind of um, disaster and unfor so unfortunately me my husband and my baby are having this um, revulsion so say hi to my husband hello what are we having today power outage thanks to Texas Gotta love this state. Okay, so yeah, so as I've said, Sorry, we're having a, an outage here in Texas. And unfortunately, we have not only the two of us who's having a difficulty on this power outage, but also our our newborn. Um, she's having a best life of, <laughs> of being in the bed right now, but... Believe me, for us, it's too hard to be in this kind of situation. Stressful. It's so stressful because, um, first, um, right now we really need every electricity that, I mean. Because honestly, if it was just us, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, we can survive this kind but of. But we got to make sure she don't get too cold mm -hmm. or too hot from us keeping her bundled up. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. So yeah, um, so right now, um, this kind of situation actually ruins everything for us because first, as I've said, we have a two week old baby, two weeks old baby and her, um, her needs are most likely fresh pump milk, um, good thing we already charge our, our pump, um, she needs um whenever i pump it's not always just two ounces it exceeds more now so we need the fridge for it we need to store the milk and since the outage is down i mean there's an outage so there's no fridge going um what else we need the lighting because who who works in the dark i don't know who um, especially nowadays um, we need the heater especially now that there's 12 degree Fahrenheit mm -hmm. and later on because it's Monday it says and it predicted on the weather forecast that it will be one degree later on tonight my husband already sealed every every um, what do you call it? Um, opening that he can see that can let the wind um get into the house but who knows um who knows how cold it will it get it's supposed to be one or negative degrees i right? know but i mean like um in the in oh, this house know. though yeah even if we already sealed it even if we already did try to seal um every opening but yeah what else does baby l need um the heater gosh we really need the heater um right now we don't have we haven't cooked the food we did try to cook the food but i told him to just bake it because i didn't know that it will be that this early it's only seven it's only seven um it started um having the power outage since 4 p.m that's the time that we actually woke up so i um he just noticed also that the uh, the power got cut off again and then it went back on around 5 30 yeah, like or 6 and then turned off at 6 40 again so yeah um right now we're still um we still depend on the we still depend on the heated um room a while ago from a while ago so hopefully it will last a little bit longer or else we'll be frozen in here what else um so
So yeah, there's a lot of things that got affected by this power outage. And again, Texas, thank you for this experience. We actually experienced a lot of things here in Texas. <laughs> I mean, good things and this is the bad thing. Um, hopefully, this will only... Um, what do you call this one? This will only happen to us until today. Not, not until tomorrow because I don't know. Um, we don't have a generator. My husband tried to get one. It was $800, $800 for a generator. This morning, there's like 55 left in Home Depot. But um, when we checked this afternoon, it was all gone. He tried to look for other stuff to get our, um, to get the heat in the house going, but then, what happened? What, it's, uh, trying to get the heat going? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I thought you were going to get something for the car, too. Yeah, I was going to get an adapter so I could plug, uh, slash inverter, so I could plug it into the car and run some power off the car. But everywhere closed before I could get there. Oh, yeah. Um, we tried to get food also because, um, as I have said, we have electric stove. So, it needs electricity. So, Texas again. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Um, but since HEB and Walmart is closed, how about that? No, you didn't do drive through. You didn't get the chance to get um drive through foods. No, no one else is open now. Who knows? They have generator. Normally, restaurants have generators. No. No? No one's out here, no. But so, yeah. Um, right now, we don't have food. We're going to get ramen, maybe. Or look for something that, um like, B&J. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we'll go f from there. Um, good thing we also charge our phones. How many person do you have, Bella? Half? I have 99%. Thank God. Good thing we could charge it in the car if I have to. Oh, yeah. And also, we have laptops. We have laptops to get battery from. But, um, so far, that's it. Um, the snow outside is so thick. It's like two to three feet. Yeah, so even if we do try to go out. Why would I even try to go out? Um, because we we're going to try to get food, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really. My my mind's not even. My head's not working straight right now because first it's cold. Second, I'll be hungry in a bit. I bet my husband's tired. <laughs> and yeah. No, I'm about to go make up some sandwiches or something. Good. Okay. But so yeah. Um. Hopefully everyone's um staying warm. And go see in their own places despite of this cold weather. Despite of the power outage, hopefully everyone's um safe. Everyone's what else? Everyone's staying at home. Mm -hmm. Just staying warm and safe. You know, try to be home. Stop going out still, cause there's nothing out there. There's still COVID. There's a power outage. You can't get anything done outside right now. Especially here in Texas. And, um, I don't know. Um, maybe one thing that I will be asking from the government of Texas is try to be prepared. For this kind of disaster because um, it's not even something that way too worst. I mean, like, 
there can be more worse than this like storm other storm right but for this kind of winter i'm kind of disappointed because um there's a lot of newborns like it's not even only newborns that we should be thinking of but elderly too right like <coughs> they need the heat especially with these old houses i know especially with this kind of old um building structures <coughs> not well insulated huh not insulated yes um we really need every um hit installations so hopefully the next uh i mean the government will be more prepared <coughs> for for this kind of um situations because who knows when it will be this kind of cold again. I mean, who knows it will be this cold again. So, please, 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 please have more um, power sources. Have more... Um, what it goes on? Like backups in the future. Yeah. So that it won't happen again. Like seriously. Like we are more. Um, we're lucky enough. To have a different power. Um, power what it calls on. Power company. That they just keep on cutting it off. Like every four hours for us. Or at least two hours. Or an hour. Other people. Um, they started having no. Electri electricity since yesterday since last night since last night and, and get it back until after Tuesday. yeah they will wait until tuesday so that's like two to three days before they can have their electricity so we're still lucky to have at least an hour and we're lucky that we have a little gas burning stove i know and then gas burning heater in the bathroom i know and then we're already planning that uh, so. i mean like i'm planning to put up the freaking reclining chair in the bathroom just to maybe sit there and then get my baby heated up for the next few hours if we ever get the coldest part of the room so yeah um hopefully 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 yeah, this one will Hopefully this one will actually get into the government. Or do you want PB and J? Um, he, peanut butter is fine. Just two pieces of bread. Mm hmm. Plus or four. um, two pairs. So four. So yeah, I'm just two hoping two that, pairs. hoping, 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 hoping that the government will actually do something about this. No, because it's happened three different times in Texas's history. I know, but still, though, I hope that it will, they will do something about it. Like, Hopefully. back up, at least. Like, they... Uh, so, the reason why all this outages is happening is because they didn't winterize their generators, which has been an investigation in 1989 and, from what I read, 2011. But they still have yet to do it. So, now you got generators failing, and it took off 3,500 megawatts. Which it only takes one megawatt to power 500 people's houses. So do the math. So again, to the government, if you're trying to win someone's heart, <laughs> you better um, have your plans on this power outage. Because this ain't this ain't doing it. This ain't good, especially to every Texas people. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, again, everyone's staying cozy, staying warm, staying at home, especially because I don't know when this power outage will come back. I don't know when the snow is going to melt. And then I don't even know if it will even stay, even, I mean, I'm not sure if it will be warm soon. So yeah, hopefully it will be. Because this one is killing us all. Everyone keep safe. Everyone stay safe. And stay with your family. Bye.